Hey tubers, uh, this is that Honda, uh, what was it, HRR216 that I had gotten last year for free. I uh, fixed the wheel, the back, it had some, uh, it had some uh, snap ring problems and I had put it back together. And it worked, I cleaned the carburetor and um, it had some issues and I had found that this overhead valve cover was dented so I took a hammer and took and banged out the dent and it ran better, but it still surges. I don't know if it's a, um, a th I need a governor adjustment here or if it's uh, just need to replace the carburetor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just replace the carburetor. If not, I'll have an extra new carburetor. Um, but I do know that, that some of the gaskets were kind of messed up. So I got this. This carburetor from uh, Amazon, it happened to come with a uh, new air filter, carburetor and gaskets. Um, gaskets here. And some fuel filters, a spark plug, and fuel line. Um, so I don't know about the fuel filter or spark plug, but I'll keep them. Um, it's always good to have some of those around. Might need to throw one in sometime. But this video is going to be about installing this carburetor into uh, into this uh, in this mower. This is a uh, a copy. Uh, this is a leave a Chinese clone. I mean a Chinese copy of the carburetor, the Honda carburetor. Um, so it looks it. When I looked at it online, it looked the same. Um, you know, it, so I'm gonna just throw it in, we'll, let's find out. There is no gas in this. I ran out of gas and I used the fuel cutoff too. So these are our all 10 mil bolts. Oh, shoot. The this is one of these carburetors that this thing it's sandwiched together i forgot oh if i pull if i take this whole thing out the whole carburetor is going to fall apart so i'm going to just leave those in there a little bit like that um uh leave it pushed in and, and then take these out so it doesn't it just doesn't fall apart See, these are the studs that hold it. Most of the carburetors, the studs are fixed in and then you slide this, the box over it. Um, so it doesn't make it, it make it this difficult. Um, so see here. And we got this plate here, but now this will this will come out. Now I gotta get this, uh, get all these um, linkages off. And that, to do that, I might have to uh, remember. It's been so long since I dealt with this. Um, let me see here. I, th I think I have to choke it. Yeah, I think I have to go up to the handlebar and choke it so I can get it like this. Um. So I can then yeah. got the fuel, I got the fuel clamp off. Let's take the line off here. Try not to mess up the crack the line. Did that earlier in a Kohler. Fortunately I was able to just shorten the line. 
by a half inch. Okay, now we should be able to take this out. Now, we gotta get this small one off here. Take the small one off first. And then we should be able to get this larger linkage off. Hell, okay. eventually I got it. I put it here and then I was able to wiggle it out that way. So I don't know what's exactly could be wrong with this carburetor, but let's go just slap on this new one. Let's see. As you see, it they look pretty similar. They're not exactly, but uh, the, all the linkage things look like it would work. Um, so I'm not gonna. Wait. It doesn't sound like anything's loose inside. So let's uh, just take a look at it inside. Looking see what at it. the inside. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna briefly take a look. It's the first time I've looked inside of this one. Want to make sure it's right. No, that's your rubber O-ring. There we go. It's not exactly like the Honda. It looks a little different, but it should be okay. It's just, well, I really just wanted to make sure like this, this um, pin was all attached and everything was correct. So let's put it back together and just slap it on. I'd like to get, I'd like to move this mower so I can get, get rid of it and sell it. I don't, particularly like Honda mowers. Um, well, I wouldn't say that. I just don't like the rear wheel drive ones. And I just don't like rear wheel, rear -wheel drive in general. Yeah. So let's put this on. I'm taking off these old gaskets off of this. Uh, I'm kinda, I don't really remember how this went. Is it this way or You've got two of these gaskets. Um, don't know exactly the order, but after looking it up, uh, a similar carburetor for a Honda, GCV 160. It looks to be about the same. Anyway, um, the order of the gaskets is going to be one of these, filed by this plastic thing in this orientation, where this the groove here is going this way. So go, that will go there. Then this gasket with this hole matching up let me see if I can get matching up here um, then we got this metal plate that that mat matches up to and then we've got another gasket here and then we have the carburetor okay the existing mower already has gaskets as you see here and there's one on the other side it didn't come off it i can just reuse those so uh but that's what the uh, that would be used for and that's uh got a couple extra gaskets there so these are definitely complex and it's kind of like a sandwich so um the best way i've been able to figure out to do these is you first you take Um, you see, actually, let me go over to the mower and I'll do it there. These are a royal pain in the butt. 
uh, some of the other Honda ones are easier. But um, so how this goes is I'm going to just actually yeah this well, huh? Oh, duh. It goes on like this. I had it upside down. Um, what I'm going to do is... Uh, this And I've done this a few times before, but it's just... You don't do this every day. Okay. You're going to put here like this. Let me uh, get you over. See if that's uh, that's about the best I can get you. So You see this like, like that. These are way too complex, Honda. I wonder why you're supposed to you stop making these. So, let's see. Yeah. We got this. Goes like that. See if I can get that to stay there. Nope, won't stick. So, Oh, we got to. I think we have to put the linkages on now. And my, you know, those pliers are far away from me. So now we've got to put on. What the? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You put the linkages on first. They're probably laughing at me. goes like this and then the choke mechanism is up here I think that's is that how it goes or is it So, choke mechanism, and let's see, it goes.
Yeah, that's probably it. <sighs> this should be fully choked. So maybe it's that one. I'll review the video. After some, I decided to go this way first to put the throttle and the return spring in first. And I'll put the choke linkage in later. So, so I'll probably put the choke in now. Let me see if I remember how it goes. Is it this way? No, it was, I think it was this way. Like that. And then we put it in here like that. Is I believe is how it goes. So, any of you wanna take a, pause it, take a picture, go ahead. Um, then we got to put our gaskets in and heat in heat shield. So let me see. Let me get my air box here. See, you getting that? Yeah. So we put gasket. This this thing like like that. Then this other gasket. Um, actually, this one. Excuse me. This one goes that way. Then this other gasket like this. Then we have this metal thing that goes on like this. Followed by another gasket. Like that. And then the carburetor goes, the bolts go in. From, from here. There are some existing gaskets here that I'm gonna reuse. Um, so, and I'm gonna try not to tear these because the, the other ones I had are torn. So I think the best way to do this is reverse, so to speak. Um, start by putting this in, in like this, since it's already, linkage is already on. Put it in like this, oops. Then we, uh, ah, famous last words, like this, we move the carburetor around so we can get, line up the holes. Oh, come on. There. Like that. Okay. Oops. There. Okay. They're both coming out the back now. If you see here. Then we put this gasket on here. Hold it to the that gasket and hold it. The metal one. Oh 
Okay, we're almost there. Followed by this other paper gasket. Followed by plastic spacer. Followed by paper gasket. Let's hope this... Yeah. Uh, see, I need to give it a little more threads back there. On the other side. Hopefully you, you can see this because I'm not going to be able to do this again. Okay. That one's in there. Now we got this one. And I believe that's it. Whew, I just gotta tighten it up. Hopefully I got it in there right. As you can see, I got linkages look to be all on in there. Let me see if I can. Um, it's uh, the gaskets over here that are I uh, reused and then the carburetor, gasket, metal plate, gasket, plastic thing, gasket. And the you have, you have to put the fuel line on first followed by the PCV um, tube, uh, breather, uh, before you put on the carburetor. Um, so it's, this is tight quarters, this is a pain in the butt. Um, so let's go see if this, uh, this yeah, fixes. Right now. Uh, there was some thing I had to bend so the choke would come on. But as you can see, the choke's on now. So let's uh, turn the fuel valve on and fill it with uh, gas and see there how it no goes. leakage. And let's give it a, a, a start. New carburetor from Amazon. Hope this, it's an aftermarket one. Um, let's see if this works. Doesn't leak. I had a heck of a time um, with this one. I um, put a new carburetor in and I actually did adjust, it, adjust the, the governor just a little bit by uh, loosening up this bolt here a little bit and adjusting the throttles and all that stuff. And, and uh, it runs a lot better now. So probably was a combination of a bunch of those things. Let me, here you go for the final start of this. HRR 216. Uh, TDA is what it says on it. So again, I got this for free. I I don't have much money into it other than maybe maybe at most fifteen bucks. Um, anyway, here we go. I don't know what that was. It could have been a combination of the governor adjustment, some bendage I did, a new carburetor, and all the gaskets. Um, so, later tubes.